ship, or they won't even know what the problems are, and they won't know what we will accept. We've done a pretty good job with YouTube, but hey, we're talking about something closer to the ground. We have an opportunity, really, to lead the country in this respect. I mean, it's that exciting. But we have to use power and organizational unity if we want to impact this. We've got a woman who's Chinese heritage, who's the head of the university. The provost from Nigeria. If there was ever a moment for us to deal with the multicultural and the positivity toward us, it's now. This is a really important moment. We got a new head of black studies who's at the meeting. So the university is here, students are here, faculty are here, administrators. So we've got a new possibility. That's the whole point. Of course we've got the past. But now is the possibility of the future. That's really what we're talking about. Brian Bell and that, that, that you can get a computer. I mean, this is, these are very special. You don't have that in every community. You ain't got that in Danville. Somebody saying $40 or come to class, you can get one for free. That's, that's phenomenal, really. Reverend Nash, you wanted to make a point. No, I wanted to ask if we could, if we could just try to end in about 10 minutes. I'm really late. <laughs> but but if, you, if, you, if you've got to stay, I just need to know, but we really need to try to be working our way to the end. Mm -hmm. is, is that possible? Yes, I think we're at that point right now. Unless anyone... Uh, any, uh, yes, this committee. Could, yeah. we, could we raise our hands again? Who is the five men especially? We're going to meet in this you corner right after the meeting. Okay, yeah, got it. Five minutes. Good. Are we meeting now? Yeah, just a couple more points. Yes, Reverend. Just what you say, I wasn't going to say anything else, but what you just finished saying should be a possibility, but it's, it's a negative. We got a Chinese person, you know, uh, cultural, and it's a negative for us. Here, that's what I was trying to say. It should be a positive, but it's been a negative. That's what I, I was trying to say. If that model that has worked for us for years, seemingly now it's become a negative. So what can we do to turn it around? Yes, uh, I guess that's really what this meeting is really about is how do we create something new? So I wish you would have had that camera on me, oh, because no, I, we need to turn it around. <laughs> but it's been a negative. Seemingly, it should be a positive. But what I'm hearing, and what people say we should go to the state legislators with, uh, all of this setup has been a negative. Can we turn it around and let it work for us? Well, that's I'm, I'm right with you. That's what we need to do. We need to turn the situation from the negative to the positive. And I think on that point, we can all agree. Amen. And so uh, I want to thank everybody for coming to this meeting. Um, I want to encourage everyone, when you get a email from the Community Benefit Fund, all you have to do is hit reply and say what you've got to say, and the message will go out to everybody. So we can have a conversation now between now and the next meeting. All you have to do when you get a report on this meeting and you get the link to the video is to hit reply all or hit reply and it, that message will go to everybody. So no one has to be outside of the loop and no one has to be silenced. You can say things to everybody and I think our mailing list now approaches 100. So, um, I guess that ends our meeting. Thank you very much. There's a committee meeting over here in this corner for everyone that volunteered to be on the committee. And uh, I once again want to thank uh, Reverend Nash for uh, hosting the meeting this morning. Appreciate it very much. And I'm sorry that we got an end, but 
But I think no. we, we got a lot of stuff here, a lot of conversation happened in, in the last three hours. So and we can come we can come back at some time. Next time I'll make sure my, my uh, calendar is free for the whole day. Okay. Pastor Nash. Yeah. So we want to so can we get together for about no more than five minutes? Guys, can I make one quick announcement? Just to, before everybody sort of disintegrates. We have a grant from Champaign City for somebody to work here, helping to run the computer labs that we've just now set up. So money this summer, if you know people that can teach computer basics classes, we have an opportunity to pay somebody. We're just talking about there's no jobs. Well, we have one. There is a job here. What's the job description? Uh, we don't have an exact job description. Come talk to Pastor Nash or I, and we can explain what it is. Like, I don't have a paper. Anymore. Jeff, if, if anyone right, is yes. interested, would you Probably. give them a tour of the labs here? Uh, yeah, if you guys want to see them, we can point them out. We've been, Pastor Nash and I have been working on these for about a year. Also, Joel Spencer. The wife, of, uh, the, wife, the wife of Medgar Evers, Merle Evers, will be in town on um, wrapping up the MLK, the Emancipation Proclamation Celebration on Wednesday, February 27th at 7.30 in Cranham Center for the Performing Arts. She's going to speak, the choir's going to perform, and so on. So here's the... And Wednesdays are Bible studies. Why don't the university get that? But we've got to cancel our Bible study because we got to be there, y'all. <laughs> Is that right, Pastor Nash? <laughs> five, five minutes. 